welcome back to Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration. Today we are taking a look around the back streets and hutongs of Shanghai. This hutong is called Chong Le Lu, which means long happiness road. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Let's go. One of the reasons that I wanted to bring you around these hutongs is that recently I bought an Xbox One. And one of my favorite games on Xbox One is called Battlefield 4, where you are a Marine and you have to go around and basically shoot up a bunch of shit. One of the missions is actually in Shanghai and you have to go around these hutongs to try and escape from Shanghai, which has been taken over by a military coup. I actually love that game. You can go around shooting people, shooting Chinese people. Shh. But uh, what we're gonna do now is just look around these hutongs and see what unusual things we can find because there is some amazing architecture here and some real gems for us to find. One building that I'm very interested in is just over here. It might take us a little while to find it though because this place is like a labyrinth. Let's see if we can find it. I think there's a vegetable market up here as well. One of the great things about living in China is that there's so many green vegetables that you can buy here. Uh, that one looks like kelp. Maybe that's cress and some, I don't know, unidentified vegetables. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. This seems to be some kind of recycling area where lots of junk and stuff has been piled up, ready to be sold. Let's have a look around here. This looks pretty interesting, actually. It's a massive pink mineral stone. Chinese people tend to like those. It's an old lady. Yeah. Yeah. This is your so you can see a lot of the old people, they stay here because it's actually very cheap. Uh, maybe their families or their husbands and wives have lived here a very long time. A lot of these buildings were given to the people, given to the families, after the communists took power in 1949. And people who owned property uh, in the nationalist era, all of this property was redistributed so that everyone could take a share. I don't know why I'm standing in front of a German woman with one arm though. That's a bit strange. The building I'm going to take you to right now is absolutely gorgeous and it's been split up into lots of different apartments. I love this building, it's beautiful. If you look up here on the top of the building, it actually says Global Red Cross Shanghai something. I can't read the rest of it because it's all covered up with ivy. But it's interesting because the Red Cross, the character for cross, has been covered up with a Buddhist swastika. Before the communist revolution, this building was actually owned by one family and they owned the whole house. But after 1949, when the communists took power, it was divided into lots of different apartments. And now maybe 100 people live within this building. Let's go take a look around. It's very accessible, let's say. It's a bit dark though. I hope you're not afraid of the dark.
你好。嗯，你就是在这里吗？对呀、啊，这房子，房子二二七年的房子。二七年的房子。这里的感觉，这老了，你我岁数还大了，但是老房子嘛，就是这种感觉嘛。这是以前的法租界的房子嘛。那你比较喜欢新的房子还是老的房子？老的房子嘛，老的房子感觉，对吧？你喜欢吗？还可以，还可以吗？嗯，每个月。租了多少钱？这个这个房子便宜、啊，这是国家的房子。This man who lives here, he's just telling me that the quality of these stairs we're walking on is really fantastic. 这这个看到没有？这个啊，你看主要是看到那个细节，你看到没有？嗯。啊，你看这里全都是有，你看漂亮，全都是很好的。嗯。He's saying that the banister up here is basically made from one trunk, you know, like one tree trunk and the whole banister has no seams in it, which actually makes it really, really good quality. And these stairs go back right to the 1920s. Oh, thank you. It's amazing to think that, you know, over a hundred years, almost a hundred years, how many people have been up and down these stairs and they still haven't fallen down. That tells you what good quality it is. And you can see that a lot of people will still cook up here. They live together here. But this is the best part. I'm taking you out to the balcony, which I think is absolutely amazing. Look at this view. And it's so cool and breezy here. You've got everything in this old neighborhood. It's such a beautiful design. Well, those look like they are Chinese raspberries soaking in alcohol. Bai jiu. That's going to be very tasty. And up here you can see you've got a little shrine to Buddha and the fish. If you've watched my videos about the Hong Kong cemetery, you'll know that the fish actually represents good luck and brings you wealth. Nian nian you. Jolly old door shall function. It's a little more than that. Ah. Like a little jar. 下面六一家，嗯，那边呢？那边没有，那边是不知道有几家。所以你觉得一共是二十多，差不多。啊、对，不，你们哪里来的？啊，我是英国人。英国，哦、英国人。对，你在这里多少年呢？哇，嗯，好多年吗？好多年，好多年了。啊，三十年那个。三十年。<笑>那你觉得住的在这儿舒服吗？还可以吧。你不，你不是比较喜欢新的地方吗？啊，没有啊，没有。嗯，我下边去看一看。啊，谢谢啊。啊，拜拜。啊、oh, ，You got like toilet brushes hanging on the wall here. England. England. <笑> England， 你中国话讲得很好啊。谢谢啊。There's so many families living here. The old lady was just telling me there's about six families on each floor on each side. So that means within this building, there's probably about 24 families. That gives you an idea of kind of how cramped it is in here, but it still will keeps this beautiful style. And I just love the style of it in here. You can see that here, everybody has their shared cooking area. Everyone has their own stove. Looks like there's something cooking for dinner right now. Smells good. Up here, you've got some ginkgo nuts hanging out to dry. The Chinese believe that ginkgo nuts can increase your longevity, make sure that you live for a very long time. And that's why they call it silver nuts. The funny thing is, nobody seems particularly bothered that I'm walking around filming this place. I'm actually quite surprised about that. Let's go downstairs, see if we can find anything else interesting. Wow, look at the design of this window. Isn't that gorgeous? So colorful. Okay, <laughs> the people downstairs were actually telling me that this was built in 1927 and it's built in the French style. One of the interesting things that they told me is that this window just here actually has the original glass from the 1920s. All the other glass in the building has been replaced, but this is the one window which uh, is still original. 
So that's actually pretty interesting. We can't get into that apartment though, which is a real shame. Uh, you can actually see all the people down there looking at me as I film this. One of the great things about the Hutongs around here is that actually people have a pretty comfortable life here. They sit outside, they drink tea, they have a cigarette. It's quite a relaxing kind of lifestyle and it's nice because it gets you away from the hustle and bustle of Shanghai, which can often be a bit overwhelming to be honest. One other thing I should mention is this tree over here because it smells absolutely amazing. There's these massive white flowers. Wait a minute, you said this is Guang Yulan. And they just fill the air with this fragrance, this kind of this vanilla y smell. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Again, there seems to be this thick layer of grime that covers every surface here. And that's largely to do with the fact that Chinese cooking uses so much oil. And when they're cooking, all this steamy, grimy oil covers every surface. The old man was just telling me that there's actually some stuff written in the back here, but I'm not sure what it all means. Uh, he said, I'm definitely going to like it. Let's go have a look. I'm not sure what it all says, but I guess we can find out. Oh, this one's something like Chinese. I don't know this one. Wow, this is amazing because it's all just completely hidden. I'm not sure what these characters are at all. I think this is all stuff from before, before the Communist Revolution. It's all in traditional Chinese, so I can't read it. I will get back to you in a future video uh, with translations for that because I think that's absolutely fascinating. Oh, and there's a Buddha over here. Well, that was an absolutely awesome mini adventure. One of the things I love about China is that you can go down the back streets, you can talk with people, and you can just find out like, the history and the secrets of these places. If you want to come along to Shanghai and come explore it with me, be sure to leave a comment in the box below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe for great new videos from Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration, every week. Let's go.